SportBikeWrench.com is the exclusive sponsor of OnTheThrottle.tv. Visit SportBikeWrench.com to find the parts you see used by the pros in OTT videos. Trey Beatty, now you, you uh, is it your 50th birthday or it's soon? It's, it's soon. My birthday is July 10th. So I've had a lot of people come by and go, happy birthday, dude. I'm like, it's in a month or two, isn't it? You know, so I don't know who started it, but if someone wants to give me a birthday cake, I won't turn it down. So you, uh, you have a bazillion laps around this track because uh, you were running the school here, weren't you? I worked for Kevin Schwantz School uh, with uh, a lot of really good instructors here. And uh, uh, yeah, I guess that program started up around 01. And um, you know, every school we did, we would sometimes set our trip meters on our speedometers, but it was really nothing to do 500 miles in a school. And uh, as uh, popularity of the school grew, uh, I think we started out with around eight schools a year, two day schools. And it, we got upped it to 10 because the schools were you know, fully enrolled. And the last year we did it, uh, we had 12 schools trying to handle all the you know the spots that we needed to handle the interest in the school so yeah we've got a lot of laps around this place and um you know there's different ways to look at you know turning laps like that because some people feel like you know if i'm out there riding around at 65 percent it's going to hurt me on a race weekend and i don't really you know personally for me i don't really think it does i think lap time's lap time because even if i'm not going flat out yeah my timing might be different for a race but i'm still learning things about the track you know trying to figure out little things about my riding even if it's a slower pace, it can't be bad just to get those laps. Now, you've been uh, endurance racing with Vezra Suzuki forever. I mean, you're part of the 8,000 championships they won. Yeah, uh, I fortunately got to do some endurance racing uh, uh, back in the 80s and uh, the 90s. Uh, uh, Team Pearls, Holland Steel. Holland Steel recommended me to Vaveline, and I spent many years with Vaveline, uh, which is now M4. And uh, they, at that time, had the strongest endurance program in the country. And uh, I just always felt like endurance racing was something that I personally was very good at and suited for. And I really enjoyed it. And uh, I was fortunate enough to uh, kind of get in there at a time when I was able to be tutored by some really good riders that were also good at it, like Bruce Baldus, Michael Martin, and Kurt Hall. And so I had those guys I was looking up to. They were very good at what they did. And uh, when, uh, when the M4 program kind of wanted uh, John wanted to kind of take that program more toward the AMA I stayed there I guess it was around 98 uh, but it was just at that age in my you know for me I was already you know late 30s and we had some really good guys on the team like Grant Lopez and Josh Hayes that were coming up and I could just see they were trying really hard and maybe I didn't want to try that hard anymore. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But it was almost like, you know, I'm getting all the good stuff. The bike, my bike is probably a little better than theirs because I'm kind of like the A rider. And I thought, I just think I'd be happier to go back over and do what I'm really happy at, you know, which is the endurance. And John was kind of phasing that out of his program. And I had an opportunity to get on with a team called Arclight, which Suzuki was supporting at the time, and kind of get back to doing what uh, – I really enjoyed, and that also opened the door for Josh and Grant at M4 to blossom and, and kind of move into that number one spot. And, uh, you know, they were young and, uh, you know, had a good future ahead of them, and I was kind of glad to get out of their way and not race against them anymore because they were kind of, you know, they were kind of biting at my heels. Mark and I had raced against each other as sprint riders, and we just never really talked much in the pits, you know, because he's the enemy. You know, I got to beat that guy in 30 minutes. You know, so, uh, but we were both on each other's radar because I knew he was the fast guy, you know, and if we go to one of these money races, I got to beat him. So suddenly he had this pretty big team and like he's going to be my boss, you know, but we got along great and uh, he took good care of me and he was excited about the possibility of maybe me riding for him full time in 02. And so we just did it and uh, I've been with him ever since. And uh, um, I've, uh, he's, he's, you know, he and Tony Pogue built good bikes. Uh, you know, it's a kind of kind of a system. You don't ever worry or think about the bike. You just trust them. It's going to be spot on. And you know, this winter, you know, we were kind of examining what we we're going to be doing for O10. 
I was really sad that that program, you know, had to be wrapped up. We just did not have enough support to make it work. And uh, I really wish that I could continue to do that, to ride endurance. I really love that. It's, uh, you know, it's good exercise. It, uh, uh, you know, at my age, I don't have to, I don't have to go 100%. You know, I can go 80% or 75%. This, the sprints, like, like this, this weekend at the AMA, this is a different animal. You know, you've got to be ready to go. Uh, it's a high pressure situation. And if you don't thrive on that, uh, it can break you pretty quick, you know. Um, we've really been welcomed here. I've, I've seen that uh, Mark and the team has gotten some really good press watching uh, some of the races on TV. And I even commented to him, I said, man, they're really uh, giving you guys a lot of attention. It's, it's great. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the race on TV yet, but they're talking you up. And ever since I've been here this weekend, uh, it's just been welcome. Uh, you know, they've been bending over backwards. They gave us a great pit spot. Um, and I've just had so many people uh, come up to me personally and say, wow, it's really great you're here. I didn't even know they knew who I was, you know? So it's really been exciting. I've really been enjoying myself thoroughly. Yeah, you had uh, qualified well and you had good grid position. You know, I, I kind of know how fast I can go here at Road Atlanta on a 1000 and uh, because of all of our Suzuki Cup races. And uh, I was nowhere near those times. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are different. I haven't been on a Dunlop tire since 93, and it was a great tire then. The bike's a little different. Uh, the tire has to, is, is shaped differently, so the bike's set up different. And we just don't have any notes, you know, for that package. So, you know, the team didn't really put a lot of pressure on me. Um, and I was able to, of course, Corey's been doing well on the Dunlop, so I was able to talk to him and uh, get some good pointers from him. But, uh, you know, to have not ridden a bike since October and to come in here, you know, wow. You know, I was telling someone this morning, I said, you know, it's kind of like walking down the street and there's a karate tournament and you go, I think I'm just gonna go in there and kick some ass. It might not be such a good idea, you know? And this is the big time.